Hello guys, my name is Reza and this is our first tutorial of the course Python Tutorials. In this course we are going to learn Python fundamentals. We'll write code together, learn the basics and get prepared to find a job as a Python developer. But first of all, let's see why should we learn Python. There are a lot of reasons why Python is getting popular these days. There are a lot of job opportunities for Python and we are going to discuss the reasons. The first reason is that it is easy to learn. The purpose behind designing Python as a programming language was to make it easier for people to write codes. There is less amount of code to write and it is designed in a way to be closer to human language. And of course it is platform independent. You can write your code on your Mac system, on your Windows application, on Linux and independently from the structure of the system you're writing you can run the code on all other systems. You just need the interpreter to interpret your program. There is a massive community support for Python. There are a lot of people who are working to write pre-built libraries for you to answer your questions and support you throughout writing codes in Python. And these were only some of the reasons why Python is getting so popular these days. And now that we have learned why Python is attracting a lot of attention these days, we have to download and install Python 3 Interpreter. But what is an interpreter? We know that Python is a high-level programming language, which is not exactly what the computer, what your machine can understand. You need an interpreter to translate your code into machine code in order to make your computer understand what you mean. And then we have to install Python interpreter in order to translate our code into machine code. Then we need a text editor. What is a text editor? You can write your code in Notepad or uh, Notepad++ or whatever. But the problem is that when you write codes in simple text editors, the keywords are not highlighted. You cannot debug your code, solve the problems, and there are no suggestions in that. So we need an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. PyCharm is one of the best for Python programming. It highlights the keywords, eases your programming, and of course makes you able to debug your code. And then finally, after installing the interpreter and the text editor, we will write our first program in Python, and then we will run it to see how Python applications work. All right, the first step is to download Python interpreter. In order to do that, I will type Python download. And then here, the first choice is from the python.org website. It will give you the most recent version of Python interpreter available. Now, at the time of recording this video, it is Python 3a2. I will download it. And when the download finished, I will open it. There are two choices, install now or customize installation. I will choose install now, but the most important thing is to add Python 3.8 in path. It is very important to remember if you don't check it up, and when you write a program, the program cannot find this interpreter. So we will check it here and install now. It will take a bit to be installed. Now that everything is done, we will close this one. And now we need to test whether it is installed successfully. On Windows systems, you just need to click on the Windows button and write CMD in order to open command prompt for you. After command prompt gets open, we have to write Python dash dash version to see the version, the current version of Python. We can see that, okay, it is 3A2, and then we will run Python in order to write a small code. We'll write Python and press enter. Python interpreter gets open. We'll write a very simple program now, just adding two and three together, just to test if our code is working. And then we are expecting five to be printed. Okay, so the program is working and Python is installed successfully. We'll close this one. 
And the next step is to download PyCharm. We'll write PyCharm, download, and then using jetbrains.com, we will download the PyCharm application, which is a text editor. There are two versions available, professional and community version. Professional is, of course, the complete one, which have the SQL support and so on. But we will need the community one, which is the free one. We will press download and then we'll wait until download finishes. OK, the installation starts. We'll just click on next and keep the path as it is. You can, of course, change it if you like. The capacity needed is written here. We'll click next. We can set the system. I will choose 64 bits, which is my machine. And of course, the other important thing is to uh, choose the associators to PY, which is the extension for Python files. I will press next and then install. It will take a bit to be installed. We will wait. I'm not going to pause the video because it is not going to take a long time. All right. I would like to launch it. So I will check this one here and then finish. The first time that PyCharm gets run on my system, it will ask me for some configurations. First of all, he asks for privacy policy. I will check it here and accept it. Data sharing, I'm not interested in data sharing, so I will decline it. And then here it asks me for a theme, the dark yellow or the dark one or the light one. I prefer the dark one, that is up to you. I will choose dark yellow as my favorite one. And then here if it asks me if I like idea theme our language support amazon web service tools and so on i will skip this for now because for this course we don't need any of these so i will just skip it and then the first time pycharm opens it asks me whether to create a new project open a previously existing project or get from a version control like Git or something else. I would just like to create a new project. We will call it Hello World as our first project. And we have to keep in mind to have the interpreter that we just installed, which is 3.8. There are other options, but we will keep this one. And then we press Create. And we'll wait a bit for PyCharm to create our project and build the dependencies. I don't need the tips and tricks, so I will ask not to show it again. It takes a bit to provide the project for us and build all the dependencies. And of course, load Python libraries inside the project. When it is done, you can see that my project is ready. You can see hello world here, which is my project, the one I built. And of course, the libraries are added here. The libraries from the Python are added. I can use them in the course further. I will tell you what these Python 3.8 libraries are. For now, we'll just right click here and create a new Python file where we need to write our program in. So I will say it again, right click, new, and then Python file. And then write our name, our desired name. I will write first here because it is our first program. And then you can see that this first appears here, first.py. And then I will just write a very simple code. I will just uh, want to print on the screen hello world to the user. So it is a very simple program. I will write print. And then in the parentheses and in the double quotations, I will write hello world. If we run this program, only this line would be shown to the user. I will run it. 
it will ask me which file you want to run I will choose first and then you can see hello world is printed on the screen this was our first very simple Python program I hope you have enjoyed this course if you like this course please subscribe to our channel and if you have got any question please ask me in the comments I will uh, answer the questions as soon as I can see you in the next tutorial try to exercise and have fun Oh, 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 oh,